What's up everybody, my name is Alex Chung and today we're talking about wireless video transmitters. Have you guys had this problem where you're on a shoot and you're on a project, you're out shooting, you're getting great footage, but everybody has to huddle around the small little camera LCD screen and try to see what kind of shot you're trying to get. Or maybe you're on a gimbal and you're moving around and the director has no idea what the shot is and what you're shooting. These kind of problems are super common on lower budget films and lower budget projects. Those are times when you need something like a wireless video transmitter that sends the signal from your camera to an external monitor where someone else can monitor and see your shot. That way, if your shot looks bad or if there's something in the frame randomly, you can have a second pair of eyes monitoring the shot, making sure nothing is ruining it. So today we're reviewing the Hollyland Tech Mars 300 wireless video transmitter. I'm not paid to do this review, but they were awesome enough to send out a review unit, a demo unit to me so that I can use it for a bit and share my opinion on whether or not this would be right for you guys. So let's get right into it and first we're going to be taking a look at what's inside the box. You get two units, one is the transmitter that sends out the video signal from the camera and the other one is the receiver which receives the signal and broadcasts it onto an external monitor. There's two pairs of antennas plus an extra one in case you damage one of them or lose one of them and there's a cold shoe mount included to mount it onto your hot shoe on your camera. There's a quarter inch screw adapter that you can mount onto the front of one of the units. You also get a USB to mini USB adapter in case you want to upgrade any firmware. And last but not least, there's a power adapter that lets you connect to the wall and power it via an outlet. These wireless transmitters can also be powered by Sony MPF batteries so that you don't have to be connected to a wall outlet all the time, but those are not included in the box. You have to purchase those separately. I'll leave a couple links down below so that you can check them out. Next, let's take a look at how to set it up with your camera and your monitor. Now I'm using my Canon EOS R along with a Zhiyun external monitor, but these transmitters work with any sort of setup. So on the camera, make sure you're connecting the transmitter unit, not the receiver unit, and take your HDMI cable and plug it into the HDMI in port on the transmitter. And then on the other side of the HDMI cable, plug it into the HDMI out port of your camera. There is a second HDMI loop out port on the transmitter, which allows you to plug in an external monitor if you need to use one for when you're shooting on your camera. Now to mount it on the camera, you have two options. The first is mounting it pointing straight up using the quarter inch hole at the bottom of the transmitter and screwing on the cold shoe mount. The second option is to attach the quarter inch screw mount to the front of the transmitter and putting it sideways on the camera. And that way you have a more compact setup instead of it pointing straight up. And now for connecting it to your monitor, make sure you plug your HDMI cable to the HDMI out port on the receiver and then the other side into the HDMI in port on your monitor. And you also have a second HDMI out to port in case you have a second monitor that you need to mount for someone who is pulling focus. So once you have everything connected, make sure you power everything on, including the monitor and the camera, and begin the pairing process by hitting the pair button on both units. It'll take a few seconds for them to link up and once they do, the link light will turn green. Next, let's talk about some of the features of these transmitter units. Using this on set is super convenient and easy, especially if you're like me and you're using gimbals all the time when you're shooting. For me, I'm able to connect the transmitter to the side of the Zhiyun Crane 3 using a small articulating arm. And because it's so lightweight and portable, I don't have to worry about whether or not it's going to add on a ton of weight to my already heavy gimbal setup. And what's great about this transmitter is that it can send a 1080p video signal up to 300 feet with virtually no lag or any latency to the image. I was on a shoot recently where we were driving up to into the mountains and up into the woods and I was in the front car with the gimbal and the camera and my director was in the second car behind us and she was able to monitor the shot as I was shooting and then she was able to tell me to reframe my shot or get a different angle or get a different view. And this might also be very helpful for situations where you and the camera are in different rooms because of logistical reasons. Both of you guys can't be in the same room together, which means you need something like a wireless video transmitter to accurately monitor the shot, making sure the camera operator or the DP is getting the correct shots. And it's super helpful to see what the camera sees in real time. And for more professional shoots, you have someone called a focus puller who is off to the side on a separate monitor of their own pulling focus. And that way the focus puller doesn't necessarily have to be right next to the camera where they might get in the way of the camera operator. The last thing that I wanna talk about is who this product might be aimed for. If you're an indie filmmaker or shooting commercials or short films with a crew, then this is something that you'll definitely want to have so that one or more people can monitor your shot. Especially when it's priced at $500, this is easily one of the best affordable and entry-level wireless transmission systems 
out there. However, if you're doing more solo shooting style stuff where you're the only person filming, then this might be something that you don't really need. So that's it guys. I really hope you guys like this quick, quick review of the Mars 300 by Hollyland Tech. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out for yourself. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell to get notified of every video that I post. I will be making more filmmaking tutorials just like this one, so make sure you stay up to date. My name is Alec Chung, and I'll see you later. Bye.